Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh here with a quick video letting you guys know that iOS 5.0.1 has been released. So all you have to do, go into your settings, go ahead and click on general, click on software update, let it cycle through for a little bit and you will see that iOS 5.0.1 has been released. Let me go ahead and show you the learn more. So what this does, it fixes bugs affecting battery life, which is huge because as most of you know, the iPhone 4S has experienced a lot of battery life problems. So hopefully this solves some of those problems. We'll take a look at that. Uh, it also adds multitasking gestures for the original iPad. A lot of you are probably saying amen because this is a feature that a lot of you complained about in my multitasking gestures video. Why isn't this in the iPad one? Well, now it is with iOS 5.0.1. It also resolves bugs with documents in the cloud, and it improves voice recognition for Australian users using dictation. I'm not Australian, obviously, so this doesn't affect me, but for those of you that might have some problems with the dictation, this will be a nice welcomed upgrade for you. So the products that are compatible with this upgrade are the iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, the iPad 2, iPad 1, iPod Touch, fourth generation, and the iPod Touch third generation. So go ahead, start downloading your update, and let me know if you guys experience you know, some of these improvements, if you've noticed that your phone or your iPad is a lot better. For you iPad 1 users, let me know about how you like the multitasking gestures now that they are available to you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.